Right, we're good. Audio is recording. Let's get started. Um, how are you all? How is everybody out there? Because uh, right now, I'm in a very positive frame of mind, which is uh, YouTube's a bit of a roller coaster. And at the moment, things are. I've got so many plans for 2020 that have all seemed to kick in at once. And uh, barring a bit of uh, bad weather in the UK, I just can't wait to get this whole thing started. But what are we here for today? Well, we're going to find out who was the lucky winner, or maybe not so lucky winner, of my second-hand clubs. Yeah, my irons. Uh, so it was tailor-made uh, P770s mixed up with some 790s. I'll announce the winner of those irons. And the other thing I will do is announce the date of the Average Golfer 2020 competition. Right, so let's start off with the average goal for 2020 and a quick recap for those of you who don't know uh, we ran this competition for the first time last year in September uh, our winner was Owen Curry and he was the uh, the first cr crowned average golfer of the year and we're going to repeat that again it was a massive success we had over 100 people enter at very short notice on that one to be fair a little bit more notice given this time around but the event was really good we had great sponsorship from Taylor made uh, Royal Bled also provided uh, a great first prize in a holiday at their amazing resort which uh, Owen will testify to and uh, it was like I said um, I suppose as, as important as all that we raised a lot of money for a calm charity uh, which is something that again we'll be looking to support in 2020 um but for the date let's just get the date first of all before i get too much waffling on 21st of august it's a friday it's a better day than last year because we're on a monday so it's a friday it's in a better time of year the course will be absolutely pristine at conway golf club we couldn't go from there everybody enjoyed it so much uh, obviously my relationship with them anyway but We've now got it brought almost five weeks forward and it's going to be in immaculate condition. They've got the Curtis Cup held in mid-June, so August time. Let's hope we get a bit of sunshine, uh, but the course condition will be absolutely superb. So I can't wait to get... Uh, Get that day. I can't wait for that day already. It was such so much fun last time. I don't play in it, but uh, basically what I did, I hosted the day, spent a lot of time recording, speaking to people, and I enjoyed it. It was great to meet so many people. So I hope you can all get involved again this year. The reason I've been reluctant to announce the date is because we haven't yet set up the booking system because I think we're going to introduce an online booking system will make things a lot a lot easier for us and for you in terms of being able to book your tea time. And that's still not ready as yet, but I just wanted to give forewarning about the date, stick it in the diary, blank that day off on the phone right now. Anybody who's interested in coming, you will get a tea time. We're going to be, uh, we're, we've got a full day this time, uh, no uh, sort of members slots in between. So we're running from 10 a.m. right the way through till 3.30 will be the last tea. And it's going to be a great day, like everything. What was great about last year, we were able to build on and make it an even bigger and better day this time around. Once again, some very interested sponsors uh, or interesting sponsors rather that are keen to support this day yet to be finalized but trust me there's going to be some great prizes on offer and it will be an amazing day and uh, we will raise a lot of money for this calm charity again can't wait to do that uh, yeah it's just that's the first exciting bit of news i've got for you and confirm that date so what's next Let's go with the winner of our competition. So, here we go. Let's switch over to some kind of computerized uh, lottery draw and find out who won those golf clubs. I haven't seen this bit, so good luck to whoever it is. Right, so details are in, 820 comments. The winner is, ba ba ba. John Osborne. I've seen John's name in the uh, comments down quite a few times. Uh, I hope we've got that on camera. Can you see that? Uh, great video, Andy. Fantastic to see the channel going from strength to strength. Have a great Christmas. I'm wishing you and your family 
and the channel all the very best for 2020. Well, John, congratulations. You've just won yourself a, uh, or my set of P770 irons, mixed with those P790s. I'll throw in the carry bag uh, that I had, Taylor May carry bag, and some golf balls. Enjoy, mate. Congrats. Well done. And thanks for supporting the channel uh, for, I think, quite a while, to be honest with you. And I've, uh, I reckon that, I recognise that name. Well done, mate. I still don't know who the winner is, but uh, whoever it was, I'm sure you've just been uh, wish good luck by me in a separate clip. So, moving on. What is next? What is up for the average golfer? Well, we've got... S I'm going to play... I'm going to play a lot more golf. I'm going to play a lot more golf at courses that I've never played before. I said in a previous video, if you watched it earlier on this week, that I'm really interested in finding those tee boxes again that I've never been to, that I walk on, they just open up in front of you, and it's like, wow, this is amazing. Uh, that's that's the joy that I get from golf. I'm not too interested in whether I score well or not. I'm not too bothered what my handicap is. That's not my motivation for playing the game. Obviously, I like to play good rather than bad that's the sort of icing on the cake but for me it's all about discovering different golf courses and we're going to some extreme places uh huge plans to get to some and i'm talking about just the uk alone at this point uk and ireland and uh, some amazing trips uh, in the pipeline like i said i'm not going to confirm anything we'll keep them coming but it's a real big travel series and uh, a real interesting look at not only the golf not only show you the golf courses but I want to start showing you the surrounding areas and sort of things that go on and, and, and things that areas are synonymous with. We've got a real interesting video coming next week, uh, which looks at a simple thing like the, the challenges that are faced with a, with, a, with a regular sort of golf club. There's a bit of a separation, I think, at the moment between the sort of uh, the, the hierarchy in terms of you've got the clubs that are doing particularly well the wealthy club seems to get be getting wealthier and getting more exposure and there's another rung down there that are really fighting and battling away and we're going to have a closer look at what those challenges are and we'll be playing those courses at the same time but like i said it's just a, a real move away from the norm i'm always going to product test i'm always going to test out golf balls and putters as i've got alongside me that's always going to be a core part of the channel but like i said throwing some real sort of um maybe not left field it's not going to go uh, you know we're not too off the rails with this we're not going to really invent the wheel but it's going to be stuff that certainly i've never filmed on the channel before i want to mention two um sponsors first of all uh, you see some names at the back of me or you may do i'm gonna hide them away don't hide the sponsors seed again have joined us in terms of partnership for this year which is fantastic for golf chester i'll be filming again all my product testing down at for golf yes i've got the connection still with conway again for this year but it's always been there but there's another um i'm just going to mention this tea upload because I've got an association with Tuplo, so let's make that clear. Uh, but there's going to be a, a, a more uh, obvious partnership between Tuplo and uh, the Average Golfer Channel. And the Average Golfer Channel was originally born out of Tuplo because it was a it was a core it is a course review website, and that's how we featured a lot of the content early doors, and then it sort of evolved and changed, and now it's something I do on my own. But Tuplo has just gone through a major overall in terms of what it provides golfers and seriously I 100% believe it's a major, major um, asset to any golfer that wants to plan a trip, book an open competition, book a society deal, get membership deals because it's one website where it literally contains all that information on all the clubs in the UK and Ireland and a lot of the top European destinations as well. So, and you can leave your reviews on there, you can get involved. So I'd appreciate anybody, I can't make this too much of a sales video, but I want, I really want to push to upload as much as I can and promote it because I feel that, like I said, it's got some real positive attributes that can help a lot of golfers First of all, save a lot of money. Uh, there's so, there's 150 golf deals on at the moment on that website. Use this thing called Fairway Finder. Click in where you want to go and play, and it'll throw up all the deals that are in that particular area. So that alone, to me, is absolutely superb facility. I'm going to go pinging all around the place, looking at different websites. It's all there in one place. Sales pitch over. But go and have a look and check it out if you will. But they're a sponsor of the channel again this year, amongst some other things. And what those sponsors do, again, just to give you an update, for those are the people kind of a question this kind of uh, tie in, uh, in with manufacturers or whatever it may be 
without those people, these channels don't exist, and certainly they may, maybe maybe exist, but they don't grow, and they don't get the opportunities to evolve. They don't get the opportunities to film the type of content they want to film. So, like I said, it's their support that I'm personally massively grateful for. But then we've got to understand, like I said, to get this content. I mean, Jesus, things need paying for. Do you know what I mean? It's a straightforward and obvious thing to say, but anybody who's expecting free content to watch has got to understand there's got to be a way of paying for that content in some way. So I'm looking to work with a number of partners, like I said, this year that will support single video series as well and just we're looking to do some, like I said, travel things in certain areas and those um, video series... Uh, will be sponsored by certain brands and that's the way we're able to then bring up that content in terms of the quality level get other people involved and bring to you what like I said on a couple of videos this week so sorry if it's getting a bit boring just what I want to do and I've got to go out there and do it haven't I because there's one big should we go one big should we go one more we've got one more biggie I'm literally seriously I've gone on too long and probably a lot of people have switched off by now anyway We'll go with one more biggie. This year, 2020, is a massive year for the average golfer. And uh, it's probably played a major part in me stopping what the way I've done things and switching things around. And I'm 50. Yes, I am 50 this year. And don't get me with all the negative comments down there about having every paper round and all the rest of it. Come on. Come on. Give some love. Don't give all that hate out. Don't tell me I thought you was 55, 60 and all the rest of it because I know you're going to hit me with it. The reality is, in it's, it's at the end of the year, it's December. But in December, I am 50. So I'm going to embark on a bit of a, a bit of a bucket list journey between now and then. And like I said get back to what I wanted to do in the first place, which is, like I said, the, the, the appeal about golf is getting on them golf courses I've never been to before. And uh, I've said that already, haven't I? You're boring us, and shut up. Anyway, I'm 50. It's out there. It's a big year. 2020 is a big year. Come and join us. Keep on supporting. Massively uh, appreciative, as you know. I don't say it every video. Um, I'm not that type of person. Uh, but if I can keep on remembering to say thank you then uh, then i will do a bit more often because like i said it's uh, you people allow me to make this happen and the other thing is i've got a new hat on for a change i had the same hat on for six months so uh yeah i've got a new sponsorship cole i haven't really anyway that's it thanks for watching comment if you wish hit the like if you wish i'm never going to start requesting them things again i'm never going to ask you to subscribe I'm sick of it all. It's just, if you want to watch, watch. If you don't, don't. If you like, like. If you don't, dislike. Uh, it's them all. Comments. Enjoy. See you later.